Let's see how we can get from a fresh WordPress setup to the first published episode in Podlove Publisher. This is a fresh WordPress install. All I changed was plugins. I already installed the Podlove Publisher plugin, and now I will activate it. Now we have the Podlove menu that appears on the left. We also have episodes here. Let's see how we can configure our podcast. Go into podcast settings. Here are the most important metadata for our podcast. That includes title, subtitle, and the summary. Fill in this information and click save. Now we can continue to media, telling the publisher where your actual files are. This tutorial assumes you already uploaded your files somewhere. In my case, I used an FTP tool to upload files here. To check that they are working, open the file in your browser. You should be able to play or download it. What you need now is the first part of the URL, not the file name, just the base directory where all your files will be. Copy this to the upload location. Click Save. Next, go to Assets. Here, you can tell the publisher what kind of media files you have. Let's start with a simple one, audio, mp3. Leave the rest as it is and click save. Now the publisher knows we want to publish mp3 files. Let's leave it like that for now. Next up, feeds. We need to set up feeds so people can subscribe to your podcast and you could submit the feed to iTunes and other directories. Add the feed and choose the media file you just created. Use a simple slug for the URL. In this case, mp3 is a good choice. Leave the rest as it is. Now we are ready to publish the first episode. So let's do this. Go to Episodes, fill in the title, just like in a normal WordPress post, then scroll down to the new Podlove episode meta box. As you already did for the podcast, here, you also have a title, which is the same as the episode title, the subtitle, and the summary. Now let's continue to the media file slug. This is what tells the publisher where to look for your episode files. Let's go back to our file. The slug is the file name, in this case, PPP001. Copy this and paste it here. The publisher detects the change and already tries to revalidate that it exists. And yep, it works. It also detected the file size. To check that everything is fine, open this link and see that it opens the correct file. Looks good. For everything to work nicely, we need a duration, but we can detect this automatically. Save the episode and see if it works. There it is, looking good. There's a web player, our metadata, our MP3 that we can download, 
and the episode duration, and of course, we can play it. This was the most simple setup. There is still a lot to do to make it look nicer and provide the best possible experience for your listeners. But these are all the required steps to get the first episode out and published. Thanks for listening, and see you next time.